They call it the Tunnel of Life. Today on Power Talk, we're speaking about the Northern Collector Tunnel Project. What is it? What is its aim? What is its expected impact for the residents of Nairobi and surrounding counties? And to speak to us about that today is the CEO of the Athi Waterworks Development Agency, Engineer Joseph Kamau, who joins us here on Power Talk this week. Thanks for joining us. Let's start by um, getting an understanding of this Northern Collector Tunnel project. Um, what is it? What is it supposed to do? And what impact is it supposed to have on the residents of Nairobi and uh, its environs? Uh, thank you, Yvonne. And uh, about Northern Collector Tunnel is a system of water supply system to the city of Nairobi and the neighboring towns. It comprises of the, the tunnel, which is allowed 12 kilometers long, which taps low water from the rivers Malagwa, Gikigi, and Irati, and conveys that to Dakaine Dam, which is also called Thika Dam. Then the, the water is tapped from the dam and treated and purified at the high level Kegoro water treatment plant and then transmitted to Nairobi via a 50 kilometer pipeline, which is about 1.2 meter diameter. The total amount of water to be delivered to the city from that system is about 140 million liters every day. And this is expected to serve Nairobi metropolitan region with, a, for, uh, with improved water services for an additional for a population of about 1.2 million people. Okay, so it's supposed to be, um, because you serve several counties, uh, not just Nairobi. Yes. Uh, so tell us about you know, the idea behind this and uh, perhaps some of the environmental considerations that had to be addressed um, you know, to enable the sustainability of this project. The, the project was uh, initially identified as a next phase for development for water sources early on. And uh, because the, the, the city was experiencing water supply deficit, and thus we had to identify additional water sources to serve the Nairobi metropolitan region. And since we've, we had already utilized the sources near Nairobi, that is why we had to develop the Northern Water Collector Tunnel and ensuring that uh, really we optimize the flows in the rivers such that uh, environmental issues downstream of the intakes are not affected. What were some of the challenges of the project and how did you address them? The Northern Water Corridor Tunnel uh, has faced is, a, is, a, is, a, is an engineering marvel. It involved uh, drilling and blasting underground for about 12 kilometers. We've, um, there was a lot of uh, issues, a lot of, uh, of uh, people that required to be compensated, community engagement, uh, various stakeholder meetings, and all that, and also, of course, resettlement action plans, which required to be done, and that involved a lot of, uh, a lot of engagements with stakeholders and mobilizing partners and, and funding. Those are some of the issues that have, invo have, 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 have been involved in the development of this project. Mm -hmm. So about 12 kilometers of, of, of this and, uh, you know, getting uh, water from all of these rivers that you've mentioned to the Dakaini Dam. So how does this water then get from this tunnel to my tap? Let's well, talk about that last mile connectivity. Uh, right now we've managed to deliver all that volume to Gigiri reservoirs and from Gigiri reservoirs we've developed distribution transmission pipelines to the Nairobi eastern zones and also the western and southern zones now what the the and with that water the the customers who are already connected will experience improved flows and areas that are, have not been having water supply networks we are on course to develop a total of about 220 kilometers within the city and neighboring areas. Those are areas of Mehango, those are areas of Utawala, Ruai, Kamuru, Ngondo, 
all that is being done so that those areas can get water supply at the homesteads. And also, we are also distributing this water to neighboring areas of Mavoko, uh, Kitengera, and also areas in Kajiado County, such as Ogatarogai. And how soon will this happen? I know some it's, of them are already receiving the water, others yes. are yet to? Uh, already we are delivering to this region because we've also tapped the Karemeno system. Yes. A total of 163 million liters every day and is already in Nairobi. Mm. So we, sh the, the communities in the city should start experiencing improved water flows in the year. Uh, homesteads. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, already happening. It's already happening. Let's yeah. talk about, um, you know, what it takes uh, to pull off a project like this. What sort of uh, partnerships and engagements did you uh, enter into and, and how helpful have those been um, towards ensuring sustainability and success of the project? Uh, this has been a flagship government project. So the support of national government agencies have been critical. We've uh, worked together with the various, various agencies, key one being the, the, our, our Ministry of Water Sanitation and Irrigation, uh, the National Treasury, regulatory agencies, and uh, county governments in ensuring that this project is, uh, uh, is, is achieved, mobilizing resources from agencies such as the French Development Agency, which have supported and financed development of key components such as the water treatment plant, the whole of the transmission pipeline, and some of the distribution networks that are already ongoing. Uh, what are some of the insights you've gained from this project um, that perhaps you look towards the future um, of uh, water infrastructure projects in Kenya? Of course, uh, the, the, the systems developed here are quite modern, state of the art, uh, with like now the water treatment plant has efficiency mm -hmm. of water uh, water 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 supply of about 97 percent use of appropriate technology digitalization in water services systems we've adopted the the, the SCADA system and thus we expect that uh, water supply systems will be will be delivered efficiently and effectively to the customers and what other innovative uh, water projects are you uh, engaging in as an agency? As an agency of the national government, we are following the, the government agenda and uh, we are planning and uh, we are on course to develop various dams to store water, that, such as uh, Theka Dam, Theka, Theka Dari A Dam, which will store about 14 million uh, cubic meters and produce water to serve Thika metropolis. We are on course also to develop a Tamayo Dam and, uh, and a Roirotu Dam to serve Kiabu areas. And also we shall develop Maragua Dam, which will secure areas in Moranga County and the city amongst other independent community systems that will be developed for, 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 the, for, the, for various community, independent community systems. Mm, and with the climate change crisis, uh, you know, part of, of, of our lives now, um, obviously putting a pressure on, on water resources and, and therefore availability and access uh, to, um, you know, for Kenyans. Uh, what are your plans to uh, sort of adapt to these and, and, and mitigate the effects of that to ensure um, access to water uh, for Kenyans? As uh, an agency, Adi Water is working with various stakeholders to ensure at least the, the catchment conservation issues are addressed in a way that, uh, that, has, that, that, that enhances the, the, the water, 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 water production capacities of various systems. Uh, we, are, we are working with the, with the, with the, with the counties and the Water Resource Users Association to ensure that all together we conserve our catchments and uh, of course ensure that siltation of existing existing systems is not done and also ensure that uh, that a sustainable agriculture is practiced within the catchment area so that our water sources remain remain sustainable up to the long term mm. uh, give us your closing thoughts as we as we finish our conversation here tonight ah uh, okay 
uh, mine is to confirm and to assure Kenyans that us as Earth Waterworks, we are committed to ensuring that uh, we will operate the system efficiently and effectively to ensure that uh, water supply to all the city residents is made, uh, uh, made available, reliably and affordably. Indeed. Thank you very much for joining us uh, here on Power Talk, the CEO of the Athi Waterworks Development Agency, speaking to us about the Northern Collector Tunnel and its efforts to supply water to the residents of Nairobi and surrounding counties. Asante Sana, engineer, for joining us on Power Talk this week. Thank you, Yvonne. And thank you. It's good. Asante. Asante.